Dyslexia makes it hard for the brain to recognise a written word and pronounce the way it sounds as a whole. It's almost as if each word is a process. It's as if it's broken down to its simplest format and I'm seeing the interference. And the way some dyslexic brains see the page can make reading even harder. Certain parts of the page are brighter and there's this, these little light marks throughout the writing. It was as if there's gaps and there's little nooks and crannies in it. So it, it becomes so slow and so for me to read something fluently is just impossible. For some dyslexics, the way words are laid out on the page adds to the difficulty they have reading. So Cara's going to see optometrist Nigel Burnett Hodd. When you're reading a, a book, do you see all the words all in line or do you sometimes see them swirling around or...? Yeah, I, I mean, I just get these marks in the, in the mm. page, almost yeah. like the white yeah. really comes through yeah. in the gaps. I'm sort of confused. Yeah. Nigel thinks the white background can trigger this visual stress. And what I believe, you know, if you're in a dark room, you suddenly go into very bright surroundings. It's like, oh, yeah. like that. For you, it's like that all the time for a white background. So we need to soften down the white background. Every colour has a different wavelength. For some dyslexics, white is too intense for the brain to process easily. And what we do is we use colour filters to slow down the wavelength of light. So a book that used to take you four hours to read, you'll read in two hours. But not only that, but after the two hours, we would ask you what happened in the book and you'll actually say, oh, I remember this, this and this. It sounds and like my miracle. But if I put this over it... Yeah, that straight away makes it comfortable. The black looks kind of raised yeah. and almost brings it back to the white. So and it sort of calms it down. Calms it, yeah. So if I put this one over the front... A greeny colour. That's really good. Uh-huh. Next, Nigel tests Cara's eyes to make sure there are no other problems. The green colour Cara has chosen is now broken down into a spectrum so that she can choose just the right shade to help her read more easily. I think this one's better. Yeah, it makes it more comfortable. That's my colour. Nigel has prescribed Cara dark green lenses. So I'll just pop this on your bridge. <laughs> Look very, very intelligent. <laughs> Cara now has to wait for her new specs to be made up to see if they'll help her fulfil her dream of diving into the world of Harry Potter. My glasses have arrived! Cara's now ready to try out the life of a bookworm. I've been so excited about getting these. While there's no easy fix for the difficulty she has processing words, she's hoping her new green specs will make it easier for her to visually process the page. Tom woke Harry next morning with his usual toothless grin and a cup of tea. Harry got dressed and was just persuading a disgruntled Hedwig to get back into her cage. Who would have thought that a little bit of coloured glass would change that so much for me? There's so many books I want to read, so I could better get started on ticking off the list. <laughs>